This video is going to be about how to get a job as an apartment manager. And this is a very coveted job for slackers, for people that want to do stuff at home, their own business. Uh, I'm a writer, director, so it's really beneficial for me to have free rent uh, so that I can um, help save money there and do my side business, make money on the side, and have more time for my writing and producing and directing. Um, but whatever the reason, it doesn't matter. Uh, to get a job as an apartment manager, it, it's really very interesting uh, um, career path because it's so coveted by everybody, slackers, non-slack, hard workers, whoever, that it makes it really hard to get. But what also makes it really hard to get is that a lot of these companies that hire you to be an apartment manager that are looking for people to uh, become an apartment manager, say they're hiring for their, their company, it, they want someone with experience. That's the number one catch-22 is they, they want to hire someone that has experience, but most people don't. So for me, when I first started to uh, look for a job to apart, uh, manage apartment like six, seven years ago, I didn't have experience and I wanted the job. Then they wanted me to have experience. So I'm gonna explain how to get that job uh, ahead of um, even people that have experience. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you most of the reasons. I'm not gonna give you all of them because some of them are secret. But um, just a little background on me. Just a little background on me is that I manage uh, 52 units right now. I've, this building right here behind me is 26, and then I manage two offsite properties because my company eventually started hiring me for other buildings. Um, but before this, before I worked for this company, I worked for another company that I managed only 17 units. And that was my first job. So the first goal to become an apartment manager is look for a smaller building. The bigger the building, they're not going to trust you. So it's just if you don't have any experience, you're not going to get the job for the most part. There's another way to get it that you might be able to get something like that, but for the most part, look for really small buildings, 10 units, 14 units, six units, you know, whatever. And um, a lot of those companies will offer that job where, okay, we'll give you a discount on your rent. We won't give you free rent. Like if you're in a nice part of town and it's $1,800 apartment, they'll give you 500 off or something. And my advice would be to take that job, even though it, you, might, you might be wanting a, a free apartment. The reason why you would take um, a smaller building, discounted rent, not full rent, that kind of job is because once you're in, you're in. So you get that job, you're getting, you're getting, you're, you're officially an apartment manager and you're gonna, you could put that on your resume. You can, you could try to get a better building with uh, a bigger building later on from the same company where the rent is totally free. Uh, there's, a, there's different ways you can go about it. But the first thing is look for a small building. Now, that doesn't mean you'll be able to get the job though, because there's still other people looking for the job. There's other people with experience looking for small buildings too. The other, the, uh, the second way to do it is the apartment that you're living in. Uh, tell the manager that you would be interested in becoming an apartment manager for that company if another building opens up. Don't try to take, don't try to tell them you'd be interested in that building because the manager is there and they'll be threatened by you if you say that. But just tell them like, look, I, I'm thinking of moving. If there's another building somewhere, I'd really be interested in, in managing there. Now, you might want to go above your manager and just tell the company directly, but then your manager is going to hate you because you should be telling your manager everything. So um, just, just be careful with that. I'd probably tell the manager. but. If your manager's fired or quits, uh, or you could even tell your manager, like, look, I'm interested if you ever feel like moving on or anything, I'm interested in managing, you know? But if, um, if, they get, if they get fired or quit, call the management company ASAP and just tell them, look, I live here, I've been here a year or two, whatever, I wanna, I want, I'd love to manage it, blah, blah, blah. And, and if they tell you, well, we're only giving you, even if they lie to you and the manager before had free rent and they're, they're telling this manager, look, we're only going to give half off rent, just take it because you got to build that resume. Once you're a manager somewhere and you're a manager for a few years, you could take that on your resume. You did a 15 unit apartment for three years. You take that on your resume and apply on Craigslist or wherever for bigger buildings with free rent and some pay sometimes. And, and they're going to hire you. You know, they're, I, I, after I managed 17 units for three years, uh, before I got this building, I had this building, this, this company, and two other companies um, trying to hire me. So 
those are two ways to, to get a job as an apartment manager. Um, the third way would be become friends with an apartment manager, someone that, that's in real estate or, or manages apartments. If you know anyone, tell them you want to become an apartment manager and send them your resume and be proactive about it. Um, apartment managing people think is easy, but it's not. Okay, it's, it's not, you got to work. So if you get hired as a apartment manager, work. Make sure you're doing your job, be organized. Um, you know, you can't be the emotional type. You got to be very uh, stoic in front of people um, because it is a job. You know, you don't want to become too friendly with the tenants. Uh, you got to ma maintain it as a job. Um, so those are my two, three ways to get hired as a apartment manager. There's other ways. If you want to message me directly or anything, I'll let you know. But um, for the most part, that's really good advice. Good luck.